guy Zayric, come from the hood, here talk sports like you know he would, loves the Packers, hates the Pats, hey you might even see Bill the Cat, yo yo yo, now welcome back, that's his catchphrase, man in black, his name is Avery, he's no joke, no. here he comes, now enjoy the show. What is up? What is up? What is up? Welcome to the historic episode of Avery Sports Show, episode number 200. We finally reached it with about four years, I don't know, 400 and something days and 25 seconds, I guess, to reach this point in the history of Avery Sports Show. So many guests we've had on. We've done shows, like I said, all across North America, well, all across Canada, to be exact. And, well, we're supposed to do kind of a road show, but you know what, though? What we're doing it now is just fine. Get some guests stopping on by the place here. It should be a blast and get some special guests calling into the program. You can be a part of this as always. Call in 780-628-1771, extension code 260. Take so a look back on Avery Sports Show history. We're probably going to play the first ever episode of Avery Sports Show. It's a two hour show. We're going from 1 to 3, and so re air at 6 p.m. We want to do why are we on a little bit earlier. I feel you know what, six to eight people are out with their families having dinner. I didn't want to do that so late because I know people would not want to come by Avery, the cast of the Avery that late. So we're on now at 1 p.m. Going to rebroadcast at 6. Fantastic stuff. Avery Sports Show, episode number 200. But of course, I was always going to talk about the sports world though. We're going to talk about uh, the All Star Game the home, and the Home Run Derby. Robinson Cano, sir. You're a defending champion and you put up a goose egg with the Kansas City Royal fans. Just on you, doggy. I mean, that guy's got to suck for Robinson Cano because, of course, the Kansas City Royal fans are mad that their hometown boy, Billy Butler, did not make the All-Star game. So, I mean, the Home Run Derby. He was not picked for the Home Run Derby. So, fans are just giving it to Robinson Cano, the entire Derby, and Bud Selig. He was mad at what happened. He was not happy what was going on with that. Fans booing. Then again, Bud Selig is the same guy who went out yesterday and honestly said that fans do not want more replay. Bud Selig, do you even listen to a single fan? It's clear you don't. Because when you say that no one wants any more instant replay, you don't even care at all. Fans telling you one thing, and you're thinking about what you're going to have for lunch. Now honestly, man, fans that want more instant replay? Who are the, what fans are you listening to? Fans talking in the 1860s? Clearly. That is just too silly. Absolute garbage out of Bud Selig's mouth. It's just, it's hysterical. Talk about Shane Doan, of course, where he might end up. Everybody's saying, you know, he could very sign his Phoenix, but of course the Phoenix Coyotes are in such an odd situation. He could go to, he could go to Dallas. Hopefully, ends up in Edmonton. Recap the Brick Tourney. It was a fantastic time covering the Brick Tournament. And of course, they said guests coming in the studio. Won't say who yet. They'll be here soon. Though. We'll, we'll see. We'll show you who's going to come on the program very soon. Avery Sports Show episode number 200. Livestream.com slash Avery Sports. Stay tuned for so much more. <laughs> 